purpose of this clip is to give an introduction to the aggregation framework in MongoDB. And the collection I'm using for the clip is called Movie Details. So in the MongoDB uh, online courses, they have a collection called Movie Details. And that's the basis of this example. So first of all, we're going to take a quick look at what a document looks like in the um, Movie Details collection. So I'm copying the, the command and we can see documents in the collection here on the right hand side. So we see that, that individual movies have an ID, a title, a year they were made, rated, runtime, the countries used to make them, the genres, the director, the writers, the actors, the plot, the IMDB, which is an embedded document, Tomato, which is also an embedded document, the Metacritic field, the awards, embedded document, the type, and then we're on to the next uh, document in the collection. So just going back over some of those because they're going to they're going to play a central enough role in the in the video clips. So the um, in the early clips, the rated uh, field is going to be important. There's a number of rated categories. There's about 13, 14 of them, such as PG and uh, so on. The runtime is going to be important, the number of minutes the movie lasts for. And then we're also going to use year as well. So these are just three ordinary fields. None of these are an array or an embedded document. So the year the movie was made, the rated value for the movie, the runtime of the movie. And then as we go into more um, ambitious clips, we look at things like countries and genres, which are both arrays. In other words, a movie is, was made, some movies are made in more than one country. The genres, uh, the, the, in other words, the, the categories the movie fall in, falls into. The director is there's just one value for the director. Writers also is um, an array. So are actors. And as I said earlier on, IMDB is an embedded document that has three subfields, including ID, rating, and votes. And then Tomato has another embedded document with uh, much more subfields, such as tomato.meter.image, etc. And then further on down, we have the Metacritic value, that field, and then another embedded document near the end called Awards. The awards wins, the awards nominations, and the awards text. So that's the layout of the of a typical document in the um, movie details collection. So now we want to answer some questions on it. So the focus on this clip is on the aggregation framework. So the simplest question you can ask uh, might be how many documents are in the collection? So the, the, the way you start this is all aggregation framework um, Pipelines start off with the deep the db dot the name of the collection and then dot aggregate and then there's uh, an open bracket and a square bracket inside it so the square bracket inside it indicates there's going to be an array of components in there or various stages so this first clip is just or this first example is just taking the simplest possible aggregation example where we want to get the total number of movies in the collection so when you start an aggregation framework, you'll typically be grouping by something. And the one field you have to include in, the, in, each, in each aggregation is the ID field. And in this case, we haven't chosen any um, thing to group by. We've just said null. So we're, we're essentially given the simplest um, approach of all. So null there means we're not grouping by anything in particular. And then we have the, the output is going to be uh, have a label num movies and we then have an accumulator here with dollar sign sum and dollar sign sum colon one means it, it, that that tells mongo to count things rather than sum them up okay so anytime you see a sum a, a, a dollar sign sum colon one uh, mongo will be in kind of count mode and then we have an appropriate number of brackets to close off the the various open brackets so the best way to, to demonstrate this is to run the the aggregation clear screen uh, message in front of every example. So what happens here is, is the output here is a, is a document as well. It's only one document. So we've taken all the individual documents that are in the collection and we've just counted them. So we know now that there is in the in the movies collection that there is 2295 documents. So that's the, the simplest um, 
form of an aggregation we can do. And in, from an SQL perspective, the equivalent uh, query would be select count star from movie details. So we're just finding out how many rows would be in a table if there was an equivalent table called movie details. So now we'll go on and we'll actually introduce the equivalent of a group by clause in, in, a, in the query or in the, in the aggregation. So here we're saying how many movies are on record for each of the rated values. So the rated values, as I mentioned a minute ago, are things like PG and other categories like that. So there's, I think, about 13, 14, 15 of them. So what we want to do now is we, st we, st we still want to do a group, so it's dollar sign group. And then it's, uh, again, underscore ID must appear in every aggregation. And this time it's by the rated column. That's why you see dollar sign rated. And the, the label we're putting on this one, the, the output field, we're calling it num movies uh, for rate per rated category. And again, we're counting. So when we execute this, what you'll see is that, very clear screen, that there is a number of categories coming back. We have the U, the first one is U for, for um, and there's one in that, there's unrated, then there's GP, and so on. Of those so far, the, a lot of them have no race, no rated uh, value, so that's what it, null appears there, and there's 1599 of them. And then down towards the bottom, we see there's unrated of 32, approved of 28, and value G of 31. And that's a collection of documents as well. So every aggregation you, you carry out, uh, we input documents into it. All, and all, in this case, all the movie, all the documents, the movie details collection is the input. Um, they're all incorporated here. And we're now simply grouping them by the rated uh, field. So the, the results come back as that as a collection of documents. And in this case, there's more than one screen full. So we, we're in a cursor. So IT means to iterate. And when we iterate, we get another four or five, and they um, those categories haven't already been haven't already been dealt with. So when we uh, execute that that aggregation, as I said, what Mongo does is it takes the each of the different rated uh, values, and it figures out how many movies are under each of these particular values. So the last one here, PG thirteen, there are a total of one hundred and fifty three movies that are classified as PG-13. So from an SQL perspective, the equivalent query would be select rated comma count star from movie details group by rated. So it'd be the equivalent of a simple group by query. And we'll just go one, for, one step further. We'll look at the next query, or the next aggregation, sorry. And this time it's the exact same question, except in this case, uh, we're looking for how many movies are on record for each of the rated values, and we're sorting the number of movies for each of the rated values in reverse order. So the this is the first example of an aggregation where we have two stages in the pipeline. So we have the group stage, which we've already dealt with, which summarizes the number of movies in each of the rated categories, and then we have a sort stage. So the sort stage is going to sort the movies uh, by the each of the rated by the rated categories, and it's going to be in reverse order. So we'll execute this and then talk about it briefly. This query, uh, the big difference between it and the previous one is that the uh, our documents that are generated when the aggregation takes place are sorted, and they're sorted in reverse order. So when we say sort no movies rated cat minus one. We're taking this uh, field here, where we count the movies, and we're then sorting them by the by the each category in reverse order. So what you can see is, is, that, is that the 1599 appears first, 214, 153, 108, and so on down to the last few where we have, um, there's only one movie in each of those. So the most important thing to understand about this is, this is a, an example of an aggregation uh, pipeline where there is two stages. So one of the big characteristics of the aggregation pipeline is that you can have many stages and the work done by one stage is passed on to the next stage. So what's happened here is uh, Mongo completed the grouping stage first and did the calculations that you saw in the previous um, in example number two. 
And what it did with the with the results then is it passed them on to the sort stage. So the sort stage works with the raw material passed forward by the group stage. And the sort stage simply sorted the, the output. So that's the, the essential difference between the first, between example two and example three there. Example two, we have uh, only one stage, the group stage. And example three, we have two stages, the sort stage. And as we build up these examples, we'll, uh, you'll see more stages. So from an SQL perspective, the equivalent SQL query to what we've just done, it would be something like select rated, count star from movie details, group by rated, and then we've order by rated in descending order. So we've, or we've taken them by the various rating categories and produced the results, uh, the, the, the numeric values, the counts in reverse order. So that's the end of this clip.